This is Coach Karan Godwin, and these are the Ball Hall Glove X Factor. They take away the natural grip of the ball, forcing your hands and fingers to work overtime. The D-Cone is the perfect complement to the Ball Hall Gloves, whether you want to work on your ball handling with cone drills, shooting with a hand in the face. For drills, follow at Coach Godwin on Instagram, and go to ballhoggloves.com. Now, although we really can't define what he has, Mark, he's going to need all of his energy tonight. In his three wins, he's averaged 20 points in the paint. In the one loss, six points under double digits. This team also needs to keep the pace because that helps the bench get easy buckets with deflections and fast break points. And last, Kyrie Irving, he's going to have to keep playing except for Stan. They've been passing the ball around. And Love gets it started. Hitting from downtown. Remember, late in... The previous game, Love walked off the other night by taking outside shots. Let's see how he handles it here tonight. Love fires and hits again. This nice pass from Spark. Olenek is blocked. Here comes Irving in the open floor with the handoff and recovered by James. With the handoff and recovered by James. Coach Lou before the game, we heard Charles Barkley, as you see the great steal by LeBron. You heard the Cavs say we need to play with pace and tempo. That way everybody gets involved. Oh, what a play. Kyrie Irving on the handoff to LeBron James, who put it home and drew the foul. And you heard the moans from the lead out for Smith ahead of the field. Well, number one, how about the rebound by Love, who outlet it, outlet it to James, who knew right away Love gets inside. His shot was blocked. Love gets it back and hits. And in years past, on that offensive rebound, Kevin Love would have threw the ball out and let this, the Cavs reset the offense. Nice pass. That's too easy for the Cavaliers. Two of seven from downtown for the Celtics. LeBron, it counts, and the foul on Jarecko. Well, doesn't this look like the LeBron James, Chris, of games one and two, putting his head down and... Right in there. And LeBron James making a beautiful move on Terry Rozier. Celtics take a timeout. Over just checks in and knocks down a three here. The guy that's really been struggling with his shot. That's a nice sign by Coach Lou. The shot fires, hits. Able to do it on the move against the rookie Jalen Brown. Well, this game, the pace oh, is better. Bradley is rejected by Thompson. Here is Irving taking all the way. Goes with the reverse. Getting offense from your defense. Thompson with the nice block at one end. And once again, Kyrie in the open court. James, one on the 24. And he hits. LeBron James just did get it off. Thompson picking off Bradley, allowing Irving to hit. In a quarter, any quarter of a playoff game. And they lead it 43 27 here in Boston. Tipped by Olenek and missed at two opportunities. James. LeBron takes all the way, and he is fouled. He's playing downhill, not settling. You know, in game three and four with the nice pass from Williams. And James was fouled. Upset that he did not convert. A respite. Golden State Warriors have been able to rest up after they swept the Spurs. Foul is called. Cleveland with a 17-point lead. Make it 19 as LeBron is able to take that pass and put it home. He now six for seven, 18 points, along with six. Darren Williams looking good here in the first half. He now has six points. That was a three. But here's Shumpert right back. What a move going to his left. He felt Hoffer come on that right side and just kind of as volatile offensively. Darren Williams once again off the bench here now with nine points. Here's LeBron. Did it matter? He felt he had Bradley <laughs> right where he wanted. And Bradley, <laughs> Bradley, an excellent defender. So 20 points. They got the step block by Hoffman. And it's a goal 10, so the basket counts. And Cleveland with 75 points. Those little dude's unreal, man. And that's why it's going to be such an intriguing matchup if and if there's another. And I'm sure we'll see more of Rozier in the second half. Mark? Irving now with. 16 points, 75 points for the Cavaliers 
Again, Chris shaking his head does not look too happy right now. No, you know, he's shaking his head at Kyrie Irving, who's he's like far tonight. Here's Irving off the spin. Oh, yes, my oh, oh, man. Stop it. Video game. Stop it. And Kyrie has the last 13 points for the Cavaliers. He has 22 in all. Game three. Oh, it's LeBron James off the double, had it stolen by Love. You gotta go right away with a mismatch on. You don't give the double team time to come. And here's oh, James. Nice. Come on, man. And now make that 16 points in the paint for LeBron James of his 24. And right now, just splitting the double team. Our Celtics players. Oh, the pass to James. Irving to James. For the duck. Saved by Smith. Irving working on Rogier. Able to put the brakes on. Kyrie Irving, 24 points. Warren Buffett be yes. considered the GOAT Absolutely. in the business world, right? Here's Love for three. Let me give Warren Buffett a shout out in a playoff game, Rich. James there it for is. three. There it is, right he there. Just he passed knows. Michael Jordan mm -hmm. for number one all time. Most points in the playoffs. LeBron doing it in 212 games. Michael in 179. 5,989 points now for LeBron in his playoff career. His comeback strong. He's three of six from downtown. LeBron James is. Uh, Rogier now with eight points has now scored 30 or more in 11 of his 13 in the postseason as well. He's got to be getting close to that as well. Oh my goodness. I think he heard you. He knows the stats. I think he's getting close to me as well. It's Ginobili and I. We're up next for LeBron James. And Chris, as you know, Reggie gets very upset. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Final minute. Team, a standing ovation. Let's not forget, they did have the overall number one seed in the Eastern Conference. Right. What a great season by the Boston Celtics and Brad Stevens. They won 53 and 29. Number one in the East. Finished strong, winning nine of their last 12 of the playoffs. Beat Chicago in six, followed by that seven game win over the over the Wizards for LeBron James, his seventh straight NBA Finals. LeBron, you are undefeated in closeout games since returning to Cleveland, and he did it in a place that it's not easy to do so. How was this win so decisive? Uh, we just came in here with a mindset that uh, we didn't we didn't want to play more games. You know, we want to try to get this series over and done with. We know we're gonna get everything that they had well-coached team, but we just came in with a fight and a bunker mentality on the road and got it done. I'll let you get the t-shirt on. You surpassed Michael Jordan on the NBA's all-time postseason scoring list, but you're headed back to a seventh straight NBA final. How does the mentality shift now? Uh, well, we're going to enjoy this. We're never going to take it for granted. Uh, I've been very blessed the last few years to be a part of this league and play at the big stage, but we're going to enjoy this for a couple more days before we have to lock in on that juggernaut out west. You speak of that juggernaut for the third time in a row. You're facing the Golden State Warriors. What's going to be the determining factor this time around? Uh, we just got to play defense. Um, we can't, we're going to face adversity. It's been the best team in our league for the last three years. And they've added an unbelievable player in Kevin Durant this year, so it makes it even more difficult. So they're going to challenge us a lot offensively, defensively, mentally, physically. But we have to be ready for the challenge. And once we get to that point, uh, you know, throughout the week, then uh, we'll be ready to go. Congratulations, uh, LeBron. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks. Guys.